What up, YouTube? JK from Team Boardwipe, and today I want to give a meta analysis of what I think will be the top decks of the early uh, November uh, 2015 format. Um, this is kind of for the regional level. Um, there's not really another major event until uh, um, YCS Atlanta, and that's announced, uh, I think, right at the beginning of February. Um, so, uh, as long as we don't get a new format, uh, which I don't really think we will before then, um, I think these decks, especially for right now, um, I very well think this could change. Uh, obviously, Bosch is coming out, um, so it's a uh, Magician Pendulum deck. But at least for a couple of weeks, uh, I don't think that's how it's going to go. Um, there's not going to be much influence on really changing anything. Um, I do think a, a, a deck might emerge uh, to be number one, but uh, right now, uh, I do think that it's Cosmos. Um, this is just kind of a list I have on them. Uh, what do they do well? Uh, they put up a lot of damage. Uh, this is mine. I think I'm going to take this to the regional uh, in Minnesota here um, this weekend. Um, I mean, I can imagine these fiend because it's like auto win in the mirror. And I mean, I don't know. I, I, I do think it's the best deck, so I think it might be the most represented. Um, but yeah, this deck is just like very strong. Puts up these big and terrible monsters. Can OTK really fast. And uh, Castle Town really adds the consistency of the deck. Um, extra deck doesn't, uh, you know. Extra doesn't really matter in this deck uh, because you don't really summon anything ever. <clears throat> um, as for Psyduck and against Cosmos, the top cards obviously are Imper Imperial Iron Wall, um, some Ghost Eye and Light and Prisoning Mirror, and then some form of Cyber Dragon uh, um, Contact Fusing. This could be Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon Core. Oops. This could be Cyber Dragon, Cyber Dragon Core, or, uh, or even Destiny Hero. Or, Elemental Hero Prism of the Send uh, Cyber Dragon. Um, so, yeah, this is a sample Cosmo list. Um, move on to what I think another contender might be. Um, I'm going to give a list of five contenders and one kind of like cool deck that I actually could see a like, decent amount of play that could be decent. Uh, could be could be uh, pretty good. Um, so, the next test is uh, Performance Performer Pal. Um, this is kind of, I haven't really played it, uh, so my list isn't very good, especially my side deck. I'm going to explain. I said the battle faders in this, but most I said those in the Cosmo Mirror. Cosmo Mirror. What you want to do is you want to kind of let them go off, almost kill you, but then battle fader their last attack. And by that time, you'll have drawn like eight to ten cards a lot of the time, and then you hopefully will draw one of your Cyber Dragons and you can uh, play it and kind of fuse their whole field. Um, then you just straight win the game. Um, also, I played against the guy and I drew double Stormforth, and I double I used two Stormforths to be both his Dark Destroyers. Uh, to summon my own Dark Destroyer and pop his only other monster, so it was pretty good. Um, anyway, this is um, the Four Match Perform Pal, or Pepe, a lot of people call it. Um, basically, what this deck is, it just uses the um, the powerful Perform Ages uh, to the Pendulum Summon, uh, especially with uh, Draco Slayer and uh, a new card they got, uh, Flush Fire. Um, and can just put a lot of damage on board, also can just OTK through a lot of things. Uh, I know a lot of decks aren't playing this uh, Cavalry. He's pretty good. Uh, this this is my friend Aaron's deck. I I showed this off in one of my earlier videos. The Gemini Fusion kind of adds a consistency. There definitely is a lot better build of this. Um, as for what you would side against the deck, um, I can run my sides. I just like threw these together in these decks because I don't really haven't played them. I've only played Cosmos generally this format. Um, well, we'll get to it a little bit in a little bit. But uh, against this, uh, obviously MST is really good. Uh, Twister, just any kind of spell and trap removal. Um, along with that, uh, Ghost Augur and Snow Rabbit, which is good against actually all the Pendulum decks. Um, I think that's mainly what I side for it. Yeah, is what they run in their extra deck. Um, if they do the Gemini, they'll run Gemini thing, but it doesn't matter. Uh, Ignister is their main one. Um, if you don't know this card, pops a Pendulum uh, monster or scale. It can shuffle a card on the field into the deck, doesn't target. Um, so you can like pop your plush fire and get big pluses in the mirror match. You can pop your opponent's skill and shuffle a card in their deck. It's just amazing. Um, and one of the ways they summon this is they play uh, Mass Chameleon. Um, basically, it is searchable by uh, King of the Feral Imps, uh, which they play, and then they can just not pendulum summon it and uh, make the Ignister. Although that's just generic rank fours, uh, they might play the Majestic pa uh, Paladin. Well, they should play it, I guess. But other than that, it's pretty generic. Next deck we're going to go to is the Magic Spectre. Well, this is the Magic Spectre perform, uh, perform Age uh, list. So I really think the Perform Ages make this deck better. It's kind of uh, lackluster without them. Um, 
Although I, I I did play this a couple matches, and I really think I wanted a second Cyclone. So we have to see. Um, another thing is all these decks play way very nice. Uh, Magic Spectre basically, when there's someone they search a solid trap that's going to stop your plays. Um, it's kind of like uh, Pendulum Tellers in a way, um, if you could describe it that way. Um, so yeah, they just want some of these and as much as possible uh, through cycling their cards. And then every turn they can keep on something and get more searches. Um, but you don't play a high spell and trap count that you search because uh, you don't want to break opening a lot of those only at one monster. Because you have to, all the all the cards have to tribute a wind spellcaster type monster. Um, as for siding against this, uh, in the side deck here, I'm explain. I play the Mask Million just in case I play against uh, this is for Cosmos to help make uh, Ignis or more. But um, against them, uh, Great Horn, uh, which is also good against Pepe, um, this is really strong. Uh, also just MST. Uh, Ghost Dark isn't quite as good in the Gensis deck because the scales actually don't have any effects. Um, and also, none of them can be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. By the way, like Twister, um, cards like that, uh, I usually side in Decrees against them. Um, just because if you can stop their uh, their Tempest play, it's really good. Um, Tempest is pretty much the same as Salmonolus, but it's a tribute to Wind Spellcaster rather than pay uh, is it 1,500 life points. Um, and then for their extra deck, uh, they'll probably run at least um, one Norden. I will see. But the main card, again, Ignister. Um, and it's just generic rank fours. But they also can play Chidori because they're all wins. And another thing is they will play Totem Bird because it's, uh, it's actually really good. You can uh, detach both materials and they get a card in the field. Or a spell or trap. Sorry. Um, so that's yeah, pretty good. Uh, they don't generally use their extra deck either, they just kind of pendle some of the monsters. Because if they overlay, kind of, you know, they can't use their, their spell trap to um, attribute their spellcasters. Um, another fourth contender, <clears throat> I think really could be there, is uh, uh, Infernoids. Uh, this deck absolutely not touched by the list. Um, this list is pretty crappy, uh, but it's just a really strong deck. Uh, like I said, nothing hit. Uh, Basically the same thing as before. Um, one little new thing they have ish is uh, Cyframe Omega. They'll be able to turn their things every turn. So that's pretty good. But other than that, it's unchanged. Um, basically, you get everything in the graveyard and just put, put through lots of damage. Uh, their counter cards like uh, Lazen, Deputy, and uh, what's the other one called? Oh, Anunku. Um, you know, this. Get rid of the scales and everything else, and uh, hopefully just like OT Kane or just at least putting like a pretty much unbreakable board up. Um, Mr. Side against them, Iron Wall, which is really good against Cosmos. Um, generally, it's like the only card I actually would side in um, because they can pretty much they can get out, out of our, over everything. Uh, uh, a card that I actually think kind of under the radar, Royal Prison, is Monsters Can't Be Special from Graveyard. Um, also, I've seen uh, some of the um, Pendulum decks, uh, like Magic Spectre especially, citing uh, Necker Valley, because it stops this and it stops uh, Cosmos. Um, as for their extra decks, they play a bunch of Synchros, because their main card, uh, Decatron, it can send one to Grave and it adds that level to it, um, and it's a tuner, so you can pretty, sync with pretty much everything. And then just some generic XYZs. Um, for the last deck that I think kind of could be pretty competitive, at least for right now, me Ying Zings. Um, this is a deck I haven't really played this format, so I haven't really have a updated list, but uh, it's it's just really strong. Uh, you know, the decks that kind of like destroyed it, like Shadals and Necros, uh, well, Necros only to an extent uh, aren't around anymore, um, so it just makes it a lot better. Uh, it doesn't have a bad castle matchup necessarily either, because they can't really do anything because you keep floating and floating and floating and floating, um, although they can't really deal with Dark Destroyer very well. Um, but overall, it's a really solid deck. Uh, it's, uh, if it can shuffle in the scales, uh, any opponent's turn, you're going to win the duel. Um, so that's obviously amazing. Um, yeah, just, just doing the same thing I did before. Uh, I might have to adjust a little bit. Uh, it's for siding against it, you know, cards like Soul Drain are really good. Um, if you don't main Vanities, Vanities, uh, is really good. Even cards like Maxi, uh, you can't really, none of the decks right now can really play macro, but it's another pretty, just generic uh, things that would stop their effects from going off. Um, and then for the extra deck, they just run only synchros, uh, because 
the trap card gains in creation, um, you can actually only sink only sink or summon from your extra deck. Yep. Um, so yeah, just doing the same thing they did, just being a pretty strong deck. Um, and for the last deck, that I think actually isn't terrible. Um, maybe not as competitive, but uh, this this Medul I don't have. There should be a pendulum version of this, but it's like a Medulce uh, Medulce clown uh, gem knight list. Um, basically, the point of this deck is just uh, if you have brilliant fusion and uh, Magellan, it's like fifteen thousand damage. Um, so it's really strong. It generally uses like OTK uh, mostly around. Uh, Brilliant Fusion and getting two normal summons. I mean, the old middle shades just play double summons, so it kind of is the same idea. Um, side deck against them, uh, Great Horn, I guess is like decent. Um, Maxi, really strong, things like that. Um, like I said, you don't really have to side against this deck necessarily because I don't think it's really going to be that competitive. I think this is more for fun. Um, and then for the extra deck, uh, I run, run the. There should only be two Nordens in here, and that was a mistake. Um, one of these should be an Emerald, actually. Um, and then the uh, Gem Knights, and then I'd run the Italians. This is kind of like Noah Green's list. I just changed it a little bit. Uh, he had topped the ARG uh, State Championship in Georgia. And then a bunch of Rank 4s, a couple of Rank 3s, and then uh, the main middle check cards. And uh, also other decks I think could be pretty competitive uh, would be Burning Abyss and uh, Volcanics. Um, I don't really have a list made or anything for those right now. Um, well, Burning Abyss is like nothing at all. That comes up. Oh, I was just playing a 60 card brain for fun. Yeah. And, uh, but like I said, those probably won't be too big. Uh, they're kind of old. Uh, Volcanics, I think, could be pretty strong. Um, just because, uh, they didn't really get touched and they were already pretty competitive before. Um, anyway, thanks for letting me, thanks for watching. Uh, and please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know what you think, um, and let me know what you want me to do for future videos. Um, I am going to the Minnesota Regional this weekend. Hopefully I'll get a, t uh, a top. It's been a year. Um, I've had kind of a bad year for playing-wise at Regionals, so, you know, hopefully I can turn things around. Uh, I actually had gotten 12th place at, like, three in a row, uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, I've been testing a lot of the Cosmo deck. Um, I was up to top 200 on DN. Now I think I'm 240 or something like that, so... I've been doing pretty well with it. Uh, I've only been playing on here for a few days, but, you know, it's been going really well. Uh, like, a very positive record. Um, and kind of, like, you know, learning a lot more. Um, anyway, thanks guys for watching, uh, and have a great day.